Hey everyone, Michael here with Hello Cupcake It's Me, and today is the Saturday check-in. It is Saturday, July 22nd, 2023, and thanks for hanging with me. If you haven't done so already, please hit like and subscribe, and then head on over to podcast.com. HelloCupcakeIt'sMe.com to check out the podcast that gets updated every Thursday. Then head over to HelloCupcakeIt'sMe.com to give the blog some love. And then finally head on over to Instagram.com slash HelloCupcakeIt'sMe to follow along with the new Instagram account. And if you're feeling uh, fun, you can check out the um, Twitter account also and go give it some love. That's twitter.com slash hello cupcake, the number four and the letter U. So how are y'all? Um, in the continuing saga of my being without a car, um, I took it to the... Um, dealership where I had bought my car originally and they did a diagnostic on it and found that I have some kind of clog or some kind of issue with my exhaust which is what's causing me to uh, lose power so I have to take it to a muffler shop on Tuesday and see what they need to do from there and um, all that fun stuff. <clears throat> so, I am hoping, hoping to have my car back by, um, Friday of next week. And then starting up an OnlyFans or something like that to pay it off. Uh, so, yeah. If you know of a good shade of lipstick, let me know because I'm gonna need it. <laughs> Uh, but no, in all seriousness, though, I'm not really worried about how it's going to get paid off. Uh, even if I have to make a small monthly payment to the shop itself, uh, I'll just do that for the remainder of my life. And hopefully it's not going to be a shit ton of money. I found out that here in the state of Washington that we actually have a different type of emissions um, like a catalytic converter that we can use because we don't have some of the same laws as like California or even Oregon when it comes to emissions and so I don't need the like $900 California emissible um, catalytic converter there's one that you can pick up for like 100 150 and it does just the same thing, just doesn't pass California standards or whatever else. Um, here, living in Washington, especially my area of Washington, there's so much tree, or so many trees and all that other stuff that it offsets the carbon footprint. And because we have um, a lot of circulation with air and stuff like that, it cleans the air out really well. And so, um, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed and being, again, cautiously optimistic that things are going to go well and that I'm going to be able to get everything said and done and be back on the road uh, within the next week and a half. So if you're the praying type or the sacrificing a chicken to the elder gods type, you know, throw a drumstick on the fire or light a candle or say a little something for your boy over here um that all being done and said uh i have just been head diving into projects that i really kind of like put to the side and haven't given focus on because i'm home now almost well usually all day every day now Except for on the few occasions that I'm able to get to the YMCA to do a little swimming or what have you. Um, I wasn't able to go on Wednesday and I was able to get there yesterday and do at least an hour worth of swim time. So I felt really good about that. But <clears throat> um, I have another blog outside of the Hello Cupcake universe 
that um, is actually really freaking popular. Like last night, I was up to seventeen thousand seventeen thousand five fifty three viewers or page hits and that's like going up every single day and um so i've been working on that blog and just kind of tweaking some of the graphics and uh adding some stuff on there and just doing a few things here and there uh none of my content is monetized uh, one because i don't meet monetiz monetization standards and two, it's because SEO and stuff like that just really don't click all that well for me. And I've never been good at selling myself. Now, I could take your product and I could sell the shit out of it and make people think that they're dumb for not purchasing your stuff. But when it comes to selling myself or my services or whatever else back when I was able to work and wasn't on SSDI and all that other stuff, I just could not do that for myself. And in a former life, one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to be a business analyst where I went into companies and stripped it down to bare bones and looked at each and every individual department and helped them figure out how to bring their stuff back up. And I actually did this with a local taxi cab company uh, when I lived in California. It was a small mom and pop taxi cab company and they were trying to figure out why they weren't able to make a profit and how they could do things a little bit differently and be com more competitively like priced and whatever else because Really, they were the only transportation system in that town at that time. You had, um, I don't think we even had city buses back then. I'm trying to remember, but no, I don't think we even had city buses. We had a dial -a ride system, so you could call that up and anyone could utilize that. You just call dial -a ride up and then it was like a dollar or two and they would drop you off and a dollar or two pick you up. But, um, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think we had anything like that. We just dial right in, like, no real city buses. Um, so, you know, all that aside, um, I actually sat down and I was like, dude, give me full reign of, I need to see everything that you have going on. Like, I need to see your, t your um, profit and losses i need to see your mileage charts i need to see like everything and so i just sat down and over the course of like three or four days picked this company apart and was able to show them where they were losing a lot of their money how their money was being allocated um and just really was able to get them turning a little bit more of a profit than what they were and a lot of the profit was actually getting siphoned out the door before it ever hit his books by unscrupulous drivers because it's a small mom and pop thing they would say oh well we ha we had somebody who uh ran from the fair so their drivers were doing these long distance hauls and then just pocketing the money and calling back to base and like hey this person just took off what do you want us to do and so it was becoming more of a rep like a repetitious type of a thing and so i was like first of all you need to fire these people second of all you need to put in some kind of surveillance system you need to um you know, you, you need to do something to ensure your drivers are going to get paid and at the very least have like an upfront fee and then go from there. And so I forget how they went about like changing stuff around. But anyways, um, <coughs> so needless to say, 
I am able to sell other people, I can't sell myself. And so, even though I have rudimentary knowledge on things like that, I, for whatever reason, cannot apply that to myself. Um, so, and it's not like I can do much of anything like that anyways, but, you know, I would love to have monetized content. I would love to see Hello Cupcake at least bring in enough money to cover the domain name cost every year or so. Um, like, I have two domains coming up that need to be taken care of, and uh, with the car being worked on, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take care of those domains, but, you know, something... As long as I can make enough money to take care of like those two domains every year that would be awesome but i just don't have the monetization and part of the reason that i'm always like saying please share my content is so that i could get up to the 1000 viewers once i get to 1000 viewers it unlocks a whole bunch of features on the back end for content creators like myself that allows me to do just a little bit more and, um, so, you know, this is a, this is like a, hey guys, <laughs> let's get up to a thousand viewers so that this could happen. Uh, before it used to be 500 viewers and I did unlock a small monetization back in the day, like the early, early days of the, um, channel. But then YouTube's all like, oh no, we can't do 500 viewers, we have to do 1,000. And I was like, damn it. So the 4 or $5 I was making every few months off of my content got taken away. And so, anyways. Uh, but, so yeah, I've been diving headfirst into <clears throat> working on... My other projects that I have going on, I've been uh, playing a lot of video games. I just got a new video game, and I'm playing that right now, and god damn, it's so frustrating. So, so, so frustrating. <laughs> but um, it's giving me something to focus on. Um, I haven't done any cleaning like I probably should have done with this time off and might be something that I attempt to do this weekend as uh, at least put a bag or two of trash together so then that way I have it like ready to go um, and maybe even send some home with my sister or something <laughs> but um, yeah so really nothing new to talk about because my life is kind of boring right now and that's all I'm doing. I'm playing video games, I'm working on other projects, and I'm studying my ASL. And uh, in the ASL universe, you know, I'm learning so much from the different programs and the content providers that I'm following. Um, one of my new favorite things to do is watch ASL music videos. So it'll be like um, Dance Monkey by The Tones and I, but done in sign language. So you hear the music and then you see the like signs and they're all Dance Monkey, Dance Monkey, you know. And it's like, oh, okay. So like I learned signs for dancing or you know it, you take your two fingers and you make V's and like go back and forth or you could like this <clears throat> I'm like oh okay and so I'm having fun with it <clears throat> and I know that there is a huge kind of a little bit of a crowbar separation between ASL or learning ASL as a deaf person versus ASL as a hearing person that it doesn't quite connect a lot of times and that um, there can be and usually is some confusion on the deaf person's part. Um, but even though I'm hearing and um, not deaf, 
I can, um, I can kind of get the information across, or at the very least, understand what they're saying to me, and that is a huge, like, thing or whatever, so, um, I'm also trying to, like, start using more sign language <clears throat> when I'm talking, and, uh, like, memorizing the signs that go into what I'm saying, so... I, I need I need people to interact with, damn it. <laughs> I need to get on Facebook and see if there's like some kind of Facebook group where uh, people get together on like Zoom and stuff like that and um, actually talk in ASL and work with one another. If not, I need to make a group because I need people that I can talk to. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section down below. Go check out the podcast, guys. Um, podcast.hellocupcakeitsme.com and go give it some love and uh, go check everything else out. Check out the links down below and I'll talk to you all later. Bye, guys.